everyone, good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. I am uploading this video with Nomad Internet eventually, but uh, we're talking tattoos in this video. And by the magic of some time passing and some editing and approvals, hopefully, I'm pretty sure this video is going to include me getting a new tattoo, kind of. Not a new tattoo to add to my collection, but a new tattoo cover up. So I found a tattoo artist uh, to help design a custom cover up. Now, uh, it's taken a little bit of time to get my first appointment, but I've already put a down payment on the design. The design has begun, and I wanted to uh, share that with you before I go in and improve the final design. Uh, here's the tattoo with some very crude purple markings on it, okay? Basically, with the red and the blue inside the actual circle there, you're kind of stuck with those colors. So if you can imagine with me a patriotic half-circle banner that you would see on the 4th of July or Memorial Day, Labor Day, that, that's going to be replacing it with red, white, and blue banners that stretch out, and then some white stars in the middle. So he's traced my arm tattoo. He knows the dimensions and size and everything, and um, bear with me guys, a cover-up tattoo is never going to be perfect. It's just like when I put the vinyl wrap on Yoda and it kind of hid what was underneath. That's all we're trying to do is, is trick your mind into seeing something totally different. And no tattoo artist out there likes doing cover-ups. It was very difficult for me to find anyone to do this. I'm gonna be leaving the area and then coming back in the area and having other videos show up between this one and everything. But anyway, wanna let you know, once I get this cover-up tattoo done, then we can start moving forward and I'm looking forward to a very neat, custom-drawn Nomadic Fanatic tattoo, okay? But first, say goodbye to Jack Daniels Redneck Confederate flag tattoo on my arm because that may be the last time you see it. All right, gonna merge onto the highway today, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I'm nervous, it's been about six years since I've got a new tattoo. And today is the day. <laughs> I've noticed that my viewers are kind of split on tattoos. It's just a fun thing that's permanent. Semi-permanent, I guess. Little fun fact for you too. Some misconceptions about tattoos. 59% of Americans with tattoos are women. Did you know that? That's an actual fact. <laughs> More women get tattoos than men in this country. Also, it's reported that Americans spend about $1.6 billion on ink tattoos every year. <laughs> the uh, tattoo gun, the uh, needle pin that they use to give you tattoos, it is piercing your skin at a rate of about 2,000 to 3,000 pricks per minute. It's, it's a lot of punctures on your skin. And, uh, and I think the longest tattoo, like the Guinness World Book, longest tattoo sitting one time was uh, a woman that did 60 hours straight of tattooing. When I got Beavis and Butthead done on my back calves, we did it in one day. It was... Uh, four and a half hours on one, then we took a lunch, and then four and a half hours on the other calf. Literally took all day to get that done, and then I was limping for weeks. But today should be easy. I think this is gonna be like a two hour tattoo, maybe two and a half hours. And ironically, the uh, tattoo gun that they use today, it derived from uh, an invention of Thomas Edison. In uh, 1891, he invented the electric pen and uh, that idea morphed into the tattoo gun pen. Okay, enough tattoo facts. We gotta get over to Tiki Tattoo and get checked in for my appointment. I don't know if I'm gonna film any of this or part of it. We'll just, I'll bring my phone with me and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited though. Jax man, are you ready? Today is the day. So what's in it for me? Well, you get peace and quiet for a few hours, okay? All right, don't worry, I'll do all the driving. All right, I got goosebumps now, guys. It's starting to hit me, I'm <laughs> getting excited. Uh, I did some Google Earth research last night to find out where I could park exactly. And uh, of course, I get here and the map was old. They've already built a building over there where I was gonna park near Tiki Tattoo. So uh, I found another cool little shaded spot over here, but I gotta walk a couple blocks over there. So I'm gonna secure up everything, make sure Jax is fed, all the windows are cracked a little bit. The high today is 80 and I'm parked in the shade, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, I'll bring my iPhone in and uh, 
I'll ask my tattoo artist. I'm getting tattooed by the Sarge today, David at Tiki Tattoo in Lacey, Washington. And uh, I'll ask him if it's okay if I take some video. If he says no, we gotta respect his wishes. But we'll see what happens. We are officially saying goodbye to the Confederate tattoo on my arm. All right. All right, here we are. Expert tattooing here. Tiki tattoo. It's time. Face mask required. Yeah, look at all this fun stuff in here. It's early. I got the first appointment with the Sarge today. So, yeah. I love all the artwork. Look at that little beard clock. That's it. Tattoo time. Okay, I'm kind of scared now. So there's what the design looks like. The curved edges. Yeah, that's going to be replacing that. Just taking a bathroom break while he gets set up over there. Got it uh, put on there, as you can see. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Got the blue coming in. Taking a little break before we uh, go into the white. There's going to be a lot of white accents, but there's what it looks like so far. Man, I don't see a rebel flag. So it's already gone. The Confederate flag is already gone. Now it's just a matter of uh, making it look good on its own. Man, he's a good artist. The sergeant's kicking butt. Takes a little while to get used to the needles. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to stand up and stretch. All right, guys. The Confederate flag is gone. Still got to put a bandage on it and, and clean it up for the day, and then I'll, I'll wash it tonight. But, uh, yep. <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? All right, I'm back in the RV. My arm stings like crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it wrapped until tonight. Tonight I will unwrap it, I will clean it, and then I will show you how I go through that process and just me personally, um, how I treat a tattoo aftercare. But uh, we'll cut back in tonight. I wanna go see my mom again since I'm in town. All right, it is time for some tattoo care here at the house. It's been about five hours since I left the tattoo place. The stinging, painful feeling will go away in about four to six weeks, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Now, back in the day, uh, what you, the only way you used to treat a tattoo is with triple antibiotic. And in fact, every tattoo except my Beavis and Butthead, that's what I did. I applied this three times a day to the infected area. But uh, there's, there's some new stuff out there that has worked really well, and it worked really well for Beavis and Butthead. I think it helped save the color and just made it look great. And that's this Aquaphor healing treatment advanced therapy this is at walmart for like four bucks and it's almost like a like a vaseline material so that's what i'm going to be using for one week i'm going to be using that after one week i'm going to switch to just a regular like lotion type thing but let's take this off because i got to clean this i will warn you that if you're picky to like blood and stuff like that that you might want to want to skip this part right here because it tends to get a little messy the first time you take this off and my whole arm is just a stinging sensation, a burning stinging sensation, and it's really tender. Now, oh my gosh. One other thing I forgot to mention though, let me put this in here, is that my tattoo artist even kind of cleaned up the Jack Daniels and Redneck. You can see a few lines in there. Right now, it looks like it's brighter than the existing Jack Daniels black on there, but over time, the, the new black is gonna go away and it'll just look more defined. That was the idea of that. And also, he wants me to come in next month to touch up the white stars and the white stripes because we remember we covered stuff up underneath there. I'm not gonna be here next month, hopefully. I may get it done on the road. Oh my gosh, it stings so bad, I wanna put something on it. The first thing we're gonna do right now is clean it with some non-scented antibacterial soap. And I'm gonna do that in the shower because that's the easiest way. I'm gonna clean it once more. 
I hate touching it. It does not feel good. <laughs> not when it's this fresh. Pat it dry. The paper towel. <laughs> I think like after the needle starts going in, it takes a good like five minutes before you actually start getting used to the pain. Oh gosh. All right. So there's our dry look, our, our non-bloody dry look. And no matter what you look at that, I don't see a Confederate flag and I don't think anybody ever will again. So I'm happy with it but I'm not done with this tattoo either. So again, we're gonna apply some of this. It just looks like that, basically. Oh, gosh. And it absolutely feels so good. It's, it's like triple antibiotic ointment, but it's different. The other thing is you wanna avoid sun on a new tattoo. So I'm gonna have to think about that since this is definitely below my sleeve just gonna have to be careful about being outside I can't go in the water but that feels good there we go guys I'm gonna wash my hands and uh, close out this video I just wanted to share some of the experience with you <laughs> I know tattoos are not for everyone back to normal scheduling here in our next video in 48 hours okay guys bye bye take care